Ashwini from Basel Practitioners. In this video, we will be discussing about the Pillar 3 reports and its significance. As we all know, reporting plays an important role as it is one of the most challenging part of regulatory compliance requirements of banks. Here is an insight about the importance of Pillar 3 disclosures. Specifically, Pillar 3 focuses on public disclosures requirements of the banks. The whole purpose is to promote increased transparency and discipline across financial market. It helps in reducing information asymmetry and helps promote comparability of banks' risk profiles within and across jurisdictions. It also enables market participants to access key information relating to a bank's regulatory capital and risk exposures. Now let us look into the evolution of Pillar 3 reports. The BCP has issued the first version of revised disclosure requirements in January 2015. This superseded all the disclosure requirements those published in the year 2004. Later, it was enhanced in March 2017 and further enhanced in December 2018. There are five guiding principles set out by the BCBS. These principles aim to provide a firm foundation for achieving transparent, high-quality pillar to risk disclosures that will enable users to understand better and compare a bank's business and its risk. Here are the principles in detail for you. The first principle is disclosures should be clear. That means disclosures should be presented in a form that is understandable to key stakeholders and communicate through an accessible medium. Second principle is Disclosures should be comprehensive. That means disclosures should describe a bank's main activities and all significant risks supported by relevant underlying data and information. The third principle is disclosures should be meaningful to users, which means disclosures should highlight a bank's most significant current and emerging risks and how those risks are managed. This should include information that is likely to receive market attention. The fourth principle is disclosures should be consistent over time. This consistency enables key stakeholders to identify trends in a bank's risk profile across all significant aspects of its business. The fifth principle is disclosures should be comparable across banks so that this will enable key stakeholders to perform meaningful comparisons of business activities, prudential metrics, risk and risk management between banks and across jurisdictions. Now let us look into the Pillar 3 presentation of disclosure requirements. Disclosure requirements are presented either in the form of template or tables. Templates must be completed with quantitative data whereas tables generally relate to qualitative requirements along with few quantitative information. Templates can be either in fixed or flexible format. If it is in fixed format, then banks must complete the fees in accordance with the given instructions. If the templates are flexible, then banks may present the required information either in the format provided by the BCBS or the one which better suits the bank. The format for the presentation of qualitative information in tables is not prescribed. The frequency of reports varies from quarterly to annually. Let us look into the challenges that are faced by the bank and how to address it. The first and the foremost thing is, banks need to revise the existing pillar 3 disclosure policies or they need to have a new one. The data required for Pillar 3 reports shall be provided by various organizational units. So banks need to revise their governance structure for Pillar 3 disclosures. Also, banks need to find qualified resources to take ownership and control of the Pillar 3 disclosure process. Pillar 3 reports depends more on quantitative data along with some qualitative data. It is important for banks to have a robust data management policy and data governance system to source quality data for pillar 3 disclosures. Banks need to understand 
cross functional programs like Basel credit risk, operational risk, liquidity risk to name a few as these programs source data for multiple pillar 3 disclosures. I hope this video was informative. In the next video, we will be coming up with more detailed information on pillar 3 disclosures. Thank you for watching.